What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to switch from the Taurine Jailbreak to the Uncovered Jailbreak for those of you that want to know how. Now I did do a previous video where I showed you guys how to switch from Uncover to Taurine. Uh, so we're gonna reverse the process and we're gonna go from Taurine back to Uncover like I said. Now as you guys can see here, uh, Cilio is launching. So um, I am in the Jailbroken state with Taurine. So basically to start this off, what we're gonna do is reboot our iPhone. So we're gonna do a reboot and this will take it out of the jailbroken state. So I will be back as soon as it's done rebooting. All right, we're booted back up. So I'm gonna hop in here and now we cannot launch Cilio as you can see. So that's how you know you're not in the jailbroken state. Um, basically any kind of reboot will take you out of it. Now we can go back into Taurine and we need to toggle on restore root file system. It's kind of the same thing uh, as we did before when we went from uncover to Taurine. So just turn on root uh, restore root file system. Basically what this does is un jailbreaks your device. It'll remove all jailbreak content. So we'll just click uh, jailbreak. It's a little deceiving because it says jailbreak. It's not actually jailbreaking it right now. It is un jailbreaking it and restoring the file system. So as soon as it's done, I will be back. Okay, we're booted back up and now when we go in here, you'll notice there is no Cilio. So that's how you know you have successfully un-jailbroken your device with the Taurine jailbreak. Now at this point, we can launch Uncover and re-jailbreak with Uncover. One thing I like to make sure is I like to toggle this off with Uncover. I don't like their OTA updates. Um, if you're gonna do that, just make sure you have that shut off in settings, otherwise your iPhone will update. I'll show you that when it's done jailbreaking it, but. Uh, we will have to run the jailbreak utility twice, so we're going to do that now. And as soon as it's done, I will be back. Okay, we're booted back up and we will have to run Uncover one more time to officially jailbreak it. So I'm gonna hop in here and click jailbreak again and I will be back once again when it is done jailbreaking. Okay, well I'm not sure what Uncover is doing. It's been a couple of minutes and I'm still at the Apple logo. It doesn't appear to be boot looping, but I'm not sure what it's doing. It seems like it's hung up in the jailbreak process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt a hard reboot on the phone and hopefully that fixes it because it seems like it's frozen on the Apple logo right now. It's literally not doing, not doing anything at all. So I'm just gonna do volume up, volume down and then the side button here and hopefully we get the Apple logo to flash indicating that we did a hard reboot. Yep, there we go. And I'll keep holding it until that Apple logo reappears. So this might have been a failed attempt to a jailbreak, as you guys can see there. So this does happen sometimes, and I like to record it when it does, because I feel like people, when they notice they're stuck at the Apple logo, they think that they're stuck there forever, and then they have to restore and lose their jailbreak. That's usually not the case. Usually all you got to do is do a hard reboot, like I just did, and it should boot back up. The jailbreak process failed, basically. It did not work. So what I'm gonna do is just hop back in here and, well, apparently we have Cydia. I don't think it's gonna launch. Nope. So it did get to the point of installing Cydia and substitute, but the jailbreak process did fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and jailbreak it once again and hopefully this time it works. Okay, I think we successfully jailbroke. Let's go ahead and launch Cydia. And it looks like the jailbreak failed again. Oh, this is getting to be a long video. All right, well, we'll do it again. And I know people are gonna ask me, so I'm jumping in real quick. Um, does Taurine do something that makes it harder to re-jailbreak with Uncover? It does not. Um, this is just Uncover being a little bit buggy for me. Um, it's kind of hit or miss with Uncover. Sometimes it works perfectly fine. We saw a respring there, so this should be successful now. Um, Taurine does not install anything that would prohibit you from jailbreaking with Uncover. There we go. We had a successful jailbreak that time. Now we can launch Cydia and uh, we can update everything. And now we are, are, are on the Uncover jailbreak. So let's 
how you can switch from touring to uncover. Um, as you guys seen, I had some issues with uncover. It is on the latest version as well. It's 6.1.2. Um, there are some bugs with these jailbreaks, so you just gotta, you know, you just gotta know how to work through them when they happen. I'm gonna ignore those temporarily. Um, but that is how you switch from touring to uncover. And it, like I said, guys, if you want to see how to switch from uncover to touring, I did do a separate video for that. The video link will be down in the description. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.